Sheffield. It's time to get real with Jahira. It's time to get real with Jahira. YouTube. What's the deal? What's the deal? One love. YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira, and I am back. Hey. <laughs> um, I'm freaking exhausted. Let's start there. So this may come out a bit disjointed and uh, rambly. I'm just warning you now. But I have a dilemma. I have an actual dilemma. And I have been sitting on this dilemma for the greater part of like 10 days. And it's really because I, I, I just don't know how to handle a situation that I'm, I'm facing. Not so much that I'm facing, but it's like, it's in the ether. And the fact that I've devoted this much thought to it and have yet to come up with a solution means it's something I've got to talk about. So now we're going to talk about it. I hope y'all are well, by the way. I mean, not to just jump into my own BS without inquiring as to your well-being. So here's the thing. I have a friend. I have a long time friend. Really long. Like, long. And, um, I wouldn't at this point call them a close friend. But there's no, like, real tension, real animosity. I mean, nothing really like terrible you know what I'm saying it's just within the capacity of I live you know where I live and they live where they live you know we're we're you know friendly at this point god this lighting sucks anyway the point is so yeah so um I guess to set the scene there, there's some things you need to know there are two exes of mine involved in this story and because one of these exes apparently watches my channel, which is really creepy. I'm not going to mention their name um, because I've already mentioned their name. So we're going to call one Frick and the other Frack. Um, Frick, I am not close to. I'm not close with. Frack, I am very close with. Purely as a friend, but, but we're very, 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 I mean, we're close. We are, you know, I, I count Frack as a, as a dear friend. I really do. Um, so some years ago, oh shit, now I should probably come up with a name for the friend, huh? Okay. We'll call my friend Joey. Joey is a male. Just putting it out there. So... Some years ago, Joey tried to approach Frick on, at the very least, a sexual level while we were together. And, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I felt the sense of, like, betrayal and everything like that. Like, whatever you go through when your friend tries to make a move on your dude or whomever you're dating. Um, but I didn't really, like... Frick turned out to be a jackass. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it was just kind of one of those... I compartmentalized it as, like, poor judgment. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily a deal breaker. And so, fast forward to uh, a couple of weeks ago... I am having a conversation with Frack. Again, Frack is the one that I am cool with. Frick is not. I'm having a conversation with Frack um, about Joey. Not so much about Joey, but Joey kind of came up in conversation. And as it turns out, Joey is now actively trying to cultivate some kind of romantic or at the very baseline, sexual relationship with Frack. Now, again, me and Frack are not together and have not been together in, in, in forever. You know, but we're, we're friends. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we came out of our 
relationship. I, I don't really know how to describe it. I guess... Have y'all been through this? That, like, you know what I mean? You, you were with somebody for a certain period of time and you sort of decide that the friendship is capable of sustaining a breakup? Or at the very least, maybe there was some animosity, maybe there were hurt feelings, but, like, you kind of move past that and and, and come to a, a sweet spot, if you will? That's kind of what the case has been with me and Frack. When, when I encounter Frack, when, when we converse, when we talk... There's a fondness there. There's an affection there. It, it, I, I kind of compare it as two people who have sort of been through a war that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily revisit it, but there are, um, there, there were moments of levity that you can sort of draw on in order to sustain a friendship, which is really the case with me and Frack. I love him dearly. I genuinely love him. But yeah, so he tells me that Joey has been kind of moving in on him. And it's kind of like for me, and you know, again, I could be completely off base here. This is one of those ones where I really need your comments. I promise I'm not benefiting in any other way other than, you know, absorbing advice here. But I just sort of feel like, you know, the first time with Frick, that was one thing. Now we're at the second instance, although slightly different because, again, me and Frack are not together. But it's still, you know, Joey knew that me and that, that Frack and I were together. He knew of the association. Everybody involved knew of the association. It wasn't exactly some closely guarded secret. So why, again, are you... Do, do you feel as though... Because... And see... This is kind of, um, this develops into a, a greater issue because this, this happens occasionally. You know, Frack is a, for all intents and purposes, straight, intents and purposes, I'm learning how to say that, is a straight identified male. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he acknowledges my inherent womanhood and thus has, you know what I'm saying? And thus the relationship was able to occur because he, he doesn't um, defer to my birth anatomy. Joey is a whole entire gay man. Whole entire gay man. And this happens occasionally, probably more often than I'm letting on, with, with gay men believing that because a man has been with a woman of trans experience, that somehow by default, they also have a chance. And I'm kind of looking at Joey now a little funny. Like, I admire your dedication to collecting my leftovers and attempting to formulate or manifest some kind of epic love story with them but it's not working it, it's just not working and in fact you're you're failing you're failing and looking really really stupid in the process so this is my thing my spirit says that trying to interject in whatever lesson Joey is meant to learn from this um, experience that, that he's created for himself would be detrimental and is not really my place because, again, Frack and I are not currently together. Therefore, I have no first-person investment in whatever he decides to do or not do. But my flesh really just kind of wants to get to the bottom of why he feels entitled to engage with people who have associated themselves with, with me. Because I would never, ever go digging in his backyard for anybody, for a, a magic bean. I, I just wouldn't, like... What the hell would they want with me? And why does that mentality not extend to you? 
you're not wanted the way that I'm wanted. You're wanted the way that you're wanted within the parameters of the schematics of your, you know what I mean, of, of, of your life. But it, it's really, and I'm trying to break this down the best way I can, like, if you have brown eyes and your dude loves your brown eyes, I can now mosey up to him and try to make some shit happen because I too have brown eyes. As though, seriously? Seri really? This is what I'd like to say. This is what my flesh would like to say. But I know that saying this would effectively end our friendship. And I'm not necessarily sure that that's something that I want to do it's, it's just, it's all very curious to me. It's very curious. And, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how to best approach this. If the solution is to approach it at all. And it may not be. It probably isn't. I just kind of need to hear someone else say that. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm struggling with this. This is a, a, a source of struggle for me. So Yeah. I, I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Um, <laughs> I really would. I, I really would. So please uh, hit me up. Um, comment below if you feel so inclined. What would you do? What would you do? I need to know what you would do because I don't know what to do myself. So please help. <laughs> and until next time, as always, one love. Good grief.